Hello everybody, I'm Steven Yahelko with uh, California State Parks out of the Sonoma Mendocino Coast District and uh, today as part of the Ca Great California virtual camp out uh, we are going to be talking um, about making your own nature journal and this is a really fun activity that can um, well kind of put you into nature and can um, can help you make observations about um, the natural world around you because there's so much natural beauty around now I've made my tent over here because as part of the great California virtual camp out um, we just pitched our tent we set up our camp and if you didn't get a chance to watch that video you can check out that video um, on the Great California Virtual Campout page, um, which is going to have live streams uh, focused throughout the day um, and coming to you live from state parks all over California. And so today, anyway, we're going to talk about nature journaling. And this is a really cool way to kind of um, use your observational skills in order to um, discover new things about a living organism and you know you don't have to go far to find a living organism in your backyard you might find a plant that's always kind of made you wonder about things um, you could uh, see a bug that you want to draw but you're gonna draw these things in your nature journal so it's really easy to get a nature journal started just start with a you know couple of pieces of computer paper and you're going to take maybe well, let's say four because you might want to discover a number of different things um, and in here you're going to put your title on there and write down you know my nature journal you can draw a really nice uh, picture in front like maybe your campsite but then when you get to the inside we're going to take a look at different living organisms that we find around us so go ahead and uh, get ready or maybe you know af after you're done watching this then um, you can make some observations on your own but let's take a look around what we have around here of course my tent is really cozy I'm gonna have a great time camping out in the great California camp out but it doesn't take uh, you know you don't have to travel far to find living organisms in your backyard or um, even around your house if you have a house plant maybe you have a spider web up in the uh, up in the corner and you can try and find that spider um, but these are great ways that you can come up with observations so I'm gonna go ahead and get started you might need um, you know, a set of markers. I got some markers and colored pencils here. Um, but it's always good to, you know, start with a little bit of, you know, start with pencil. Because pencil is a good way. You don't have to make a permanent mark right away. And you can, um, you can write it out, make sure there's no er er errors in what you're doing. So I'm going to go ahead and say my nature journal on here in my best handwriting now you can do this activity at home you can do it after after we're done watching this um and this is all about training your eye so this drawing this cover will give you a nice um nice way to warm up your art skills and as we get going and throughout the day you're going to be able to learn about so much from all over the state we got tons of events for you and um, one that is I'm really excited about is later on this evening at seven o'clock we will be having a virtual campfire um sing along and uh, so I'll be doing it right free from my camp and you can join along um, and 
it's going to be a whole bunch of fun. Maybe you'll uh, get to hear some of uh, some of those songs you're oh so familiar with, and you might even learn some new ones. But it's going to be so much fun. So my nature journal, and throughout the day, at both ten o'clock um, and two o'clock, there's kind of a uh, choose your own adventure time where you can go and check out different live feeds throughout the rest of the state. And that's all through either the California State Parks page or through the, um, the Great California Virtual Campout page. And yes, if you feel free, uh, feel free to ask any questions here. Hi, Emily. Nice to see you here. So we're just going to do our cover and it's going to be real quick. But after we get our cover done, and I'm going to color that in later, right? Because we want to get to the part where uh, we're observing some nature here. And nature is all around here. We have this plant here and it doesn't matter if you know what that plant is um, because this is how we get to discover new things. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up to the first page and take a look here and I'm going to use the thing that I'm looking at to um, make a drawing of it and you can see different parts of it. You can see a very tall uh, version of the same tree. You can see a stump of the tree and you can see all these little sprouts that are sticking out. So I'm going to go ahead and draw my little sprout here and I'm going to take first draw the stem but from there I can take a look and make observations about how the leaves are organized some leaves come up alternatively and well hi Chris Cat yes uh nice to meet you, or nice to see y'all we're doing some nature journal in today and welcome. We're gonna be doing some fun stuff all day. So yeah, we're going to be taking a look at making observations about our natural world. And let's see, I'm not sure that you can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna do it really quick, but I am noticing that this plant has leaves that are alternating, meaning up the stem, you might find one leaf on one end and one leaf off the other end. Now that's an observation, so I'm going to draw my leaves alternating on this page. And the fun thing is we can uh, later fill it in with color. And I have selected a number of colors. And it doesn't have to be perfect because what you're really doing is training your eye to make observations. And by drawing something, you take a deeper look, a closer look, without even realizing it. So I got my sprout here, and I'm going to color it in a little bit. I can see that this is kind of a lighter hue of green, but I got a nice green marker here. And I'm going to go ahead and, well, that's a little dark, but I'm going to draw maybe a green outline on there so I remember that that's green but I noticed there might be well some orange colors or some yellowish colors in there and we can draw our nature journal and sometimes if we can draw and write down our um, our observation and I'm gonna write down up here alternating leaves alternate leaves and that gives me an observation that'll help me remember and even decipher my uh, sprout there but there's not just one sprout so there's a whole bunch of other sprouts down there I'm just gonna go ahead and do those shoots there and kind of make sure I get to see these alternating leaves now typically around a plant you might find some other uh, evidence around it and even finding on the ground you might see some of uh, the dried leaves here the dried leaves are turning kind of brown 
don't know if you can see that. But notice, we're going to take a deep look at this leaf. Now, this leaf has a very distinct line that goes down the center where all the water moves out to the points of the leaves to fill all the cells in the leaf um, with water, which it needs in order to photosynthesize or make food for itself out of water, carbon dioxide, and the sunlight because leaves are designed to, to absorb the sun. So, but t leaves will tell you very much a lot about a plant. So I'm gonna get a different marker because if you look really closely at some of these fresh leaves, now, I'm not sure that the sun's kind of glaring right now, but if you look closely, you might notice that those leaves kind of have a yellowish, orangish um, coloration right in the middle. So I'm going to go ahead on this observation sheet. I'm going to draw that really distinctive yellow line in the middle. And then I'm going to draw these lines going out from the center. And then I'm going to get back to my green marker and do an edge. But we can take a closer look at the edge of these leaves. They kind of have sharp edges, which we call serrations, right? Now, these are big scientific words, but you got jagged edges. So I'm going to go ahead and do that on our leaf here, kind of jagged edges. And then you can fill it in. But remember, we're just trying to get quick observations through, through what we notice. And we noticed that the veins of this leaf were kind of uh, kind of yellow. So we got your yellow colorations with our green on the edge. And you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. But we've just made two observations, one about the leaf arrangement and then the other about the leaf itself. And if you're just joining, we were making our nature journal. This is all about making observations about individual organisms wherever we are, different parts of the living world. And it doesn't take uh, long to find this is a nice green. I'm going to use that. That actually comes really close to the green of the plant that I'm looking at. Now the tree that I am looking at in particular, I know is called the tan oak tree. Tan bark oak. Now, but if you were to come up with a different name for this tree, what do you think you might call it? Now I take a look at the actual bark of the tree, which is back here. Do you get a tan color out of that? I suppose I do. There's some gray and some white, but it's all about making those observations. Now, the word tan oak actually came from the tannins within the bark, and I know that, but you might not know that. Now, I've got my sprout. I got my leaf that gives me a really good um, idea of what's around, but I'm going to try and draw well, the bark of this tree and the trunk, which goes up and it doesn't go exactly straight. It goes sometimes up. If I look at other trees around me, they might reach out sideways. So we're gonna draw our trunk here. And that trunk goes up. And but you notice the way that the bark actually crackles the way that bark crackles is kind of in these straight lines and kind of, uh, you notice these straight lines that are here. They don't crackle in all these different shapes. They kind of crackle in these straight lines, almost making big squares. So taking a look at our, I'm going to use a darker marker, a black marker. And we're going to put those big straight lines up there because that's how the bark 
crackles. And I notice sometimes the lines go sideways, but they're almost square. And all these give us really good observation. Now, I wonder if you guys, and if anybody's watching, that you can tell me if you are seeing any cool organisms around you that you might want to draw. Add those in the comments. Now, today is such an exciting day because we're going to be visiting a bunch of parks throughout the day. Again, if you, there are all sorts of activities through the great California virtual camp out. Now I'm going to fill this gray in because it's mostly gray. There are some white splotches, so I might make those white splotches. Leave a little white around so that they're there, but we get to see a little bit of the bark. Now, if you look around, you, you might also find evidence of the fruit. Now, oak trees like this tree here um, have a particular type of fruit known as an acorn and acorns are where the where the um seed of the tree exists in fact it is the seed of the tree and it's really good because it supports a whole bunch of different wildlife right so we got our nature journal we've got a alternate leaves we got our very jagged edge leaf there which we might want to write down a note on what that looks like. It's kind of a uh, serrated, like a steak knife. So I'm going to write down serrated leaves. Now these journals don't have to be perfect because they're um, actually going to be yours. And it's also a good idea to make a night uh, to write jot down what the day is because in a journal, you want to know what day you observed each organism. So it's August 8th, the day of the great California virtual camp out. So we got our tan oak tree here. And if you wanted to name it something else, um, I would call it the fuzzy leaf tree because there is a lot of fuzz on the, um, on the developing leaves. So I can call this tree whatever I want. So I'm gonna call it fuzzy leaf tree. And again, this is all about making our own observations and being able to explore using our uh, power of observation. Now you may notice if you're drawing uh, animal that um, the animal was close to the ground. So that would be a great note to write down or it when it was all the way up in the tree. Great note to jot down. Now these observations can give us a better idea of what, um, what is going on with these uh, different organisms. And it might tell you a little bit about the science behind it because all our science and all the things that we know about nature is from observations in journals just like this because the early explorers would bring a journal around and they would um and they would draw pictures of the birds that they saw of the different trees that they saw and it's almost as if they discovered them though they were around long long before they did find something else out about them. And maybe they were able to name them. But there are all sorts of ways that you can explore. You know, if I didn't want to draw the fuzzy leaf tree or a tan oak, we could talk a little bit about that redwood tree that's behind me here. Redwood trees are amazing. So, so much to learn. I'm going to keep it short because I could sit here and draw all day long. But throughout the day, you'll be able to check out um, ways to explore your parks, um, different crafts and activities, and all part of the great California virtual camp out. And so with that, everybody, I want to see your uh, nature journal. Um, if you want to show a picture of your nature journal or the entry you drew in there, put it in. Um, 
make a post and put hashtag the great California virtual camp out on it and we will all get to see it and share it all right everybody from Camp Semper Virens this beautiful camp that I got set up here in my yard I'm Steven Yahelka. thanks for joining and have a beautiful rest of the day